chocolate because it can actually be quite therapeutic for you. I don't know how. Sue, have you, when did you start all this and why? Well, I started when I went to complain about the noise upstairs and I found out they were juggling and I wanted them to teach me. So Max, who's next door here, taught me. How long That's before how you felt the benefits? Um, I felt the benefits straight away. I don't know whether my downstairs neighbours did, <laughs> but I quite enjoyed it. Max, you've literally juggled your way around Europe. How does it affect people? What's the response um, to you? They seem to enjoy it, actually. It does get them inspiration, yeah, yeah. definitely. And you find it's quite a mag mag magnetic thing. They're quite drawn towards Especially you. Especially if you do it with fire. They fire? <laughs> yeah, oh, my goodness. No, no, it. no. Steve, GP, straight from your sick bed today to be with us. What have you done? Well, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I should be back to work on Monday. I don't know whether uh, perhaps I didn't do enough juggling or some people say perhaps I did too much. Is it actually therapeutic? I mean, do you recommend it to your Yes, to I do. Patients? I think particularly people who have... Um, scattered nervous energy and they sort of can't keep still they're always doing something or other and of course uh, it doesn't matter if you drop it does not it not really no i think dropping is is part of it you just keep going like life i suppose it, it quite teaches you to put up with well small failures in life really that's right and i think particularly you know those kind of people are going to benefit from mm. something to work on something that will give them a sense of achievement and oh my gosh, there's, there's Max no is off it. now. <laughs> <laughs> he's off, there's no stopping him, money's coming out the pockets. Oh, Oops, oh, there, over one, to you. Just throw it back in. Pete, you. a teacher. Well, you were a teacher, but you gave it all up for juggling. That's a bit right. excessive, isn't it? No, not really. It's a lovely lifestyle. Anyway, it's just one of a range of skills that I use with young people. I find it really helps them gain confidence in their physical realm. Uh, I always considered myself really useless at physical skills when I was a youngster. I kept getting thrown out of the local football yeah. team for having two left feet in my head like a throbbing bit. And when I finally learned to juggle at 24, I realised I could do something physical and be successful at it. It really helped me, and I found it really helps the young people that I work with. So it's a super skill, really. Would you like to perhaps see it taught in schools? Yes. It's a lovely yes, idea. Yes, she said, yes, echoed so up the Susie. top here. <laughs> All the teachers I've ever worked with have said what a wonderful thing it is. It really aids the work that they do. It ties in with so much other work in drama and art and craft that as well. It gives them such a lovely base to work on. I'd like to see a study done in remedial children to see if it improves their eye-to-eye -eye coordination, hand-to-eye -eye coordination. It definitely helps you to focus on what you're doing. Yeah. What do you prefer to juggle then, Sue? Um, I like to juggle... Um, maybe I shouldn't tell you. Go on then. Knives. <laughs> Knives? Yeah. <laughs> Knives? <laughs> Knives, you prefer to juggle what? Uh, I love juggling on the floor. It's very relaxing. It's just let them bounce off and it's just no energy, really relaxing. And just dropping them? Yeah, um, but they no, bounce the back balls. off again with bouncing balls, dog balls or something. Dog like balls, that. I mean, what about chairs? Anything big like that? Uh, you, I did do that, Whoop. but um, the hard to do tricks with. I just enjoy playing with tricks, so I got bored oh, quite quickly. You. Steve, your favourite juggle? juggle? Well, these, this bag, this little pink thing here, yeah. is rather beautiful because it has the virtue of stopping wherever you let it go. So well, it Bang. Like I have to say that I find it particularly uh -huh. therapeutic, and that's just watching it. I did. It's driving me bananas. I mean, I felt quite relaxed when I came out here. Now I'm all up in the sky. Oh, did you see that man with the plates on the sticks that used to sell? Oh, I've had to go. Now that's good. There. Yeah, we haven't said what we're doing tomorrow. No, go ahead then. Tomorrow, Simon Potter here with the main event. I'm just doing a bit of juggling now. Go on. Yeah, we've got Yuna Stubbs with us, and we've got best-selling diet authoress Rosemary Connolly also joining us. Yes, Sue Cook will be here with a crime watch update, and I'll be going round Sandy Gall's garden, the newscast. Who's also a guardian. Have you heard of the Emperor's new clothes? Yes. Well, these are his balls, you see, and if you can't see him, you're an idiot. <laughs> they're, they're here. Come on, Rick Waitman, you don't get out of this. And nor do you. I think you drop those on oh, the way. Oh, thank you in. very That's much. Right. Oh, thank you. Hang on. So go quick. On. Let's you see how you go. So, so quick. Yes, yeah, do on. join us tomorrow, and hopefully oh, this rubbish oh, no. will be out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. There are. And then. Oh, no, I did one. I did two. I did drop one then. Oh, look.